What's up guys, my name is Mike, I am a software engineer, algorithmic forex trader and recently I lived in Thailand as an expat. Anyway, if you are interested in algorithmic forex trading, low latency programming, especially in .NET, feel free to subscribe to this channel because I'm going to upload a lot of new content. And if you are interested in my story on how I taught myself to code, please stay with me. I am coding from like six, seven years. And anyway, when I started, I didn't go to any school, any tech university. It was like I had a need to code something and then I just did it pretty much like this with the use of Google. So, you know, many people ask me how to start coding, how to learn code. You know, th that kind of people that ask that kind of questions are not really serious because if you want to learn something, you just go to Google, you type how to, I don't know, make money online and you have loads of stuff loads of content same thing with programming how to start coding do you know how to start coding get an idea find an idea that actually you want to create an idea of an app so it, it could be small script small automation but actually something that could be useful for you and then pick a technology go with C sharp go with Python if you want to do web application go with Node.js go with JavaScript you have plenty of frameworks plenty of people talking about how to create projects that that's that's one thing and anyway how it was with me basically six seven years ago i was trying to make money on forex but i was losing money i made some money and then i lost double amount of that so that was not going good then i was thinking to maybe backtest my strategies maybe i can automate my strategy into ea at that time i was using metatrader 4 i decided i want to automate my strategy that i was using to basically validate if it can make any money so what i did i just type on Google how to code in MQL4. This is very, very, very simple. And you just follow the steps on the tutorials. It's easy like this. So basically at that time, I, I taught myself how to code in MQL4. And then I coded my strategy. I ran it through backtesting and yeah, it lost money. So at that time, I already knew how to validate the strategies before I started actually trading and losing money. So that was in, in MQL4. This language is very, very, very similar to C++ and you can learn it if you want but it's like low 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 level of algorithmic training anyway i coded that strategy backtested and then i knew how to code in mql4 so the next idea i wanted to to create was the idea of an application i basically the idea of this app was to create a e8 in mql4 that will be connected to the external database and basically every single time there is a new trade or new information about the news release the e8 will communicate with the backend written in C sharp at the time and uh, make decisions. So basically it was like EA or MetaTrader 4 on steroids. I chose the .NET platform to create the app. I found a lot of tutorials. I followed the tutorials, added some changes, uh, some tweaks by my own and I made it run. And uh, when it comes to backtesting, this EA strategy, yes, actually was making some money. So this was the first strategy I, I coded that was making money on the backtesting on the long run. I made the backtest for seven years, six years, something like this. But the EA was very simple. It was only trading the non-farm payroll. So it was basically one trade per one month. So not much data to, to test. But after seven years, it was profitable. But uh, you may wonder how it went with the real life. So the idea was perfect. The backtesting was perfect, but the market validated my idea and it was not making money long term. And uh, I don't know, if you know why this strategy didn't make money, just let me know in the comments. And the reason why it was not making any money was the slippage. So when you have big news releases like non-farm payrolls, there's very, very big volatility on the market and I was not getting the prices I wanted. And with backtesting on MetaTrader 4, I think you do not even have an option to simulate the slippage environment. I was asking for price 1.1111 
and I was getting 1.1115, but the market was dropping. So I was not making any money with this strategy. Okay, so the, the, the project failed, but I learned how to code in C-sharp. And then it is like this with every single project. If you want to learn how to code, don't ask me questions, what is the best way to code, but actually start doing something. There's loads of people that just talk, 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 but not many people do the things. So if you want to have the, the respect or if you want to be treated seriously, don't ask how to code, how to learn to code, but ask technical questions. For example, how to code this function? Hey Mike, I wanted to make this kind of application, but I had problems with this, this, this framework. I make it like this, but it's not working. What would be the solution for this? And that kind of questions are serious. But uh, if you just ask how to learn to code, it's pointless, you know? Don't ask those questions, guys. Please don't ask those questions because no one will treat you serious. So when it comes for me, I just had the need to learn how to code to validate my strategy. I started from MQL4. Then I had idea to go to the C Sharp to create web application. I did it. Then I had idea with machine learning. I just went to Google, start to learn things and code and pretty much that's it when it comes to books sometimes they help sometimes they don't but basically books are a good uh, foundation so if you're already doing some project in c-sharp python or mql it's worth to read a book about this kind of language at the same time because if you're gonna read it and don't code anything what's the point but if you're gonna actually code some project do your own stuff and during that time as a fulfillment of your knowledge read a book on some c-sharp development or or, or stuff like this then it's worth it and then you can see the results but anyway i started with mql4 moved to c sharp then i did some python development with machine learning then again c sharp python c sharp python recently i just stick with c sharp with uh, low latency development so coding with c sharp but paying attention to the garbage collector so you know when you run your app you don't want the garbage collector to be triggered. So anyway, that's it. If you want to learn how to code, just do not ask programmers how to do it, but just go to Google and learn it because the knowledge is already there. And anyway, if you like this kind of videos, just hit the like button, subscribe to this channel. And if you want to talk to me, exchange some ideas with our community, join our Discord group. The link should be somewhere there below. And uh, yeah, as you can see, it got already dark in Thailand. See you. PCO.